Hello, and once again, I've designed another water heater controller, and this one's fairly simple. This is, I've been wanting to do this for a while. It's an LM358 design, so it's a dual op amp. Uh, no special drivers. Uh, the only other thing we have in there is an LED. It's a green LED. That's about 1.9 volts. Uh, this design is for the chicken people, and possibly... They have more inf interest in what I'm doing than uh, solar people do. Solar people just think direct connect is the way to go, and uh, it's simple and stupid, and that's what they are. So let's look at the uh, waveform right now. You can see it's it's 21 volts, and I can pump up the current here. And... I'm at two amps right now going into it, and it's maintained the voltage. Let's look over here. And this is my little control signal I'm looking at. And uh, when these uh, the yellow one is down, uh, that's when it's turned on. So, uh, as you can see, it's very well behaved. This goes down, and you can see it starts. It starts at about uh, 300 microseconds, and this differential up here is only about one volt. You know, it says it right there. And look how well behaved that is. I'll tell you, this is a sweet design. It may be designed for a chicken heater, but this will work with any water heater. Just got to change the values of uh, the capacitors and uh, the FET for whatever is appropriate. So, So it changes frequency, changes duty cycle, but it always maintains that about a volt. So a volt and 21 volts is uh, pretty close. Well, those resistors got pretty hot. Where is my pen? Here it is. So very simple. Uh, I come in with a 100K resistor, 10K, and that gives me about 2 volts at, at 21 volts. And you can see that uh, this green LED is set up, and it gives you about 1.8, 1.9 volts. You could use a red LED. Uh, you got a zener, you want to set that between 13 and 16 volts. And really, you could just put... A bunch of LEDs in series and that would work just as well each one would be if it's you know if you're buying this stuff uh, you'll get a package of LEDs you'll get probably 50 of them for a small price so there's no need to buy the Zener and the LM358 uh, you can find those anywhere pretty cheap the 1500 UF at 35 volts uh, I got 20 for like eight dollars. Uh, you want to you want to look for the green ones with the gold printing. That doesn't really make uh, guarantee anything, but uh, generally they use that uh, color for lower ESR. These ones I got off Amazon, and uh, they measured about forty six micro ohms and uh, three of them in parallel like I say I I wanted to make this as small as possible as cheap as possible so yeah I'd use if it was me I'd use four or five but this is about 4500 microfarads so you do a simple comparator and uh, this output can be a little grassy that 10k filters it and uh, along with this capacitor 
And we have a little feedback here about 220K. And you know, it can go from 180K up to, you know, <laughs> 360K or anything like that. Uh, 100 ohm driver resistor for uh, the gate. And just to guarantee a little 10K pull down. Uh, so the gate is never floating. You can use practically any diode for this. Uh, you know, if you have a high frequency diode, that's better. Regular silicon diodes are always fast turning on. They're just slow turning off. But uh, we don't do any fast switching here. And here's your water heater. And for a low voltage system, this works really well. And there's no reason that you couldn't redesign this, you know, if you want to go with 100 volt capacitors, 150 volt capacitors, if you get at least a thousand microfarads each, I try to get, you know, I use 6,000 on my basic design. The more capacitance, the better. Uh, this resistor you'd have to increase, or you could just go and get one of those uh, little switching power supplies that does 12 volts. Uh, most of those work fine once you get above 40, 50 volts. Uh, I have one that uh, operates down to like 17 volts, really good. But uh, yeah, that would allow you to hook it to anything without thinking about calculating, calculating out a resistor. But as I said, you just filter this input. This output can be a little noisy. I always like to use a delay. That's why you see the thing when it starts up, it's nothing and then it starts up to a, a, a decent size. It's because of this time delay that you get here and there. And then you just provide a little voltage reference, 1.9 volts. You could add an extra diode in there, get a little higher. Uh, a lot of variations, but it's a very simple circuit. And uh, this operates as like a Schmidt trigger a little bit to make sure it's a, a nice clean transition. But you saw that, and uh, this is this is about as simple as you can get. Very cheap common parts that are available anywhere. You know, if you have an old uh, PC power supply, don't be an LM358 that's uh, operating in in the current sense amplifier. Uh, an old UPS would have a couple FETs that would be, you know, they'll have an H bridge in the output if it's not a fully transformer or low frequency type. And those will be at least 10 amps, you know, probably in the 20, 25 amp range. And uh, you put four of them in parallel, you know, plenty good for a water heater. They'll be at least 200 volts. So, you could build this for almost nothing. Uh, like I say, if you have a couple old pieces of electronics, old TVs or something like that, you can find these capacitors. You'll, you'll find, uh, you know, two, 220 microfarads, 470. I did one once with, uh, it had about 15, 16 capacitors in it, just all in parallel. The more capacitors, the better, because that gets your... ESR down. You don't want to give one big 4,000 microfarad, just a single cap. Most caps are only rated for about one amps. My big caps that I use on my controllers are rated at just three amps each. And that's average current. This, these won't be average, but you want something that's rated for current so it has construction that's good enough for high current pulses because you're always pulsing at the maximum current. The time may vary, but it's always the same high current that you would get. Uh, so like I say, someone ought to try this. I'm about ready to give up with uh, people who just not caring about this technology. It's simple. You know, if, if you buy these parts, you're buying at least five of them. You know, you'll, you'll have enough parts to make five of these. So, geez, one out of five ought to work. You know, I, I put this together. I hook up things backwards. I connect things to the wrong pins. 
you know, I'm an old guy. I got brain fog. And, uh, you know, half the fun is making them, making them work. And uh, you can be really proud of yourself if you get something like this to work. Rather than just press a buy it now button. So I hope someone tries this because uh, it's pretty disappointing that uh, no one really cares. <laughs>